Well, it's been a while folks, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a transmitter. What a surprise. If you look at my previous videos over the years they're all transmitter related. Well most of them. In the past I've built these. These are low power FM transmitters. They work from about I think 90 megahertz to 100 and height. 110 megahertz but these are very unstable. I'll show you that in a minute with that frequency analyzer. Um, these are a bit more professional. I used to sell thousands of these all over the world. So I'm going to stop selling them soon really. I haven't got time, work commitments, so I'm working six days a week. And This is built on the uh, Max uh, 1472 IC. It's um, phase lock loop. Um, six pin IC, you can just see it there. These are very stable. These are very good actually. Sold these all over the world, mainly in America. But they are great transmitters, over a mile range, well over. A lot of people doubt that, but I've done extensive testing on these and got about 1.2 1 1 .2 mile. Very good. These are just fun. I don't recommend you use these, to be honest. These are very unstable. These are easy to build, but I use a tank circuit. you just got to go you know, near them with your hand, and you'll, they'll drift off frequency. But the next transmitter I'm going to show you, these are both analog. The next transmitter will be a digital transmitter. And you can build it fairly cheap. They haven't got the range of these, obviously, you know. But they're interesting. Okay, let's demonstrate how unstable these are. These are made with simple tank circuits. It's got a single stage amplifier for the microphone. Very easy to build. I know that is one of these cheap tiny spectrum analyzers. These are great actually for little projects. You don't need to spend a fortune on stuff like that really. You can buy stuff fairly cheap. I'll just plug that in there. As you can see, there's a the frequency. Is that 102.2 almost? Now if I get near it, look at that. So the frequency drift. Look at that. 106 megahertz. Have a look there. 102. That's why these are very unstable. If you have these with a regulated supply, power supply, you know, that's their frequency if you don't get near them. But it's just fun to start learning electronics with, I suppose. But as you can see, useless. I'll show you that one next. Okay, here's the um, UHF transmitter. You see, that's picking up a frequency. I don't know if that's anything nearby, but picking up something. I guess it plugs in yet, so let's zoom out so you can see it all happening. Let's plug that in. There you go. You see the frequency in the middle there. Now, if I can hear this, touch the battery. It don't move, does it? The frequency is rock solid. A 434 200. Yeah, she's steady as a rock. Yeah. Unplug it. There you go. Now that's what you call a stable transmitter. This is what you call a terribly unstable transmitter. So I don't recommend you use these because you could interfere with people's radios. You know. These, you need one of these. Buy these cheap off eBay. Obviously, you just need a cheap FM radio with one of these. If you're wondering what all that was on the bed, this is spare bedroom. This is where I just do a few videos. It's just a few bits and pieces. There was a transmitter up. That was a Bluetooth transmitter. So that's what I'll be building next. A Bluetooth transmitter. Let's show you the parts. Okay folks, this is what we're going to be using for this transmitter build. I got this from Allo Express, so I could buy everything. It's a Bluetooth audio transmitter board. It's a receiver too, but we'll use it in transmit mode only. These are extremely cheap. Like a lot of things on AliExpress, just bargains. People not China, but believe me, there's not a site like Allo Express is really for buying electronics. 
Have a look at the price of that. It's one pound sixty-six. I think it is a couple of pound. I think it was one pound ten actually delivery. But if you buy like four or five of them, you can get the um, delivery free. So they are pennies. That's the first part. Right. The second board in this um, build will be one of these DC to DC or boost book converters. These are great, you just because you can use like two AA batteries, which are you know equal about three volts, and then one of these I've got two here, I've got well I've got four, but two is that's the five volts. That's the three volts. What I'm going to use is the five volts because you seem to get a, a, an higher an higher audio output with the five volts. So the output's better. It's a bit louder, simpler. There's two here, so I'll just snap them. That's it. We'll just one of these. And these are extremely cheap as well. Thirty-eight pence. Crazy. What's that? About fifty cent US? I don't know. Something like that. Anyway. Basically, we're going to you know power it from two AI batteries, boost it up to five volt, and that's great. That'll do the job nice. So you can these will only run up. These will run down to about two point eight volts. Then they power down. With this um, DC to DC boost converter, you can get this battery pack down to about two point one volt. Amazingly, so they'll be completely flat by then. Should we build it? Here's just a quick note these have got an integrated audio amplifier for the microphone, so which is great. So you don't need to use an external pre amplifier board, it's all built into this Bluetooth transmitter, I say, which is great. What I'm going to do is just glue this to one of the um, the three. 0.5 millimeter input here because I'm going to be using some H shrink to go over it. So what we'll do, we'll glue the microphone in now in the front so it's not moving at all. I can get the H shrink over the top of it. Okay, let's glue the microphone in place. So then I'm going to use eight ones here, the glue ones, whatever you call them. So I'm just going to put it inside. Now, can you see that? That's it. Stick that microphone down. Oh, it looks a bit messy, but that glue in supply, so hopefully. <sighs> Great. We'll tidy it up in a second. Hopefully, you can see the microphone now. So I've just glued it into place in front of the um, 3.5mm input socket. Let's just pick off the glue around it, just tidy it up a bit. That's all tidied up. Can you see that? Now the way we're going to do this, this is obviously the Bluetooth transmitter. Here's the MDC boost converter. So what I'm going to do is place that probably underneath here. And I need a 9 volt battery connector which I've got here. So that will go here and power up the um, boost converter. Okay, let's cut the, um, the wires to size. This is our obviously boost converter, so I'm going to need it about an inch away, so I we'll just need to cut that about there. And this one should be about here. That's it, bit of flux. I always use flux when soldering. It really helps. Okay, the battery connector, we're just going to place on the, um, the input side, power in of the DC to DC converter. So you've got VI and VO, obviously input and output. So, make sure we get these right now, right, obviously. That's the um, input side done. There we go. So this will go about there. And obviously we're going to use some is it captain tape in between to isolate them. Okay, let's just do our output wires.
Well, we'll cut these high put boys short in a minute. So let's go about here. I'll see, we'll just bend these up here and cut them. They're going to be very short wires. Like that. There's a couple of ways this module can be powered up. Micro USB here, or oh, there's two pads there as well, which we'll be using. You see the ground there. So, we'll be connecting it that way. Okay, let's get them soldered in. No, I've added a bit of flux. These are pretty close, so I'm not sure they don't touch. As you see, we've got a fair bit of flux on there, so to clean it up. That would look a lot better like, than it. Let's give it a little brush. And... Now, before we put it all together, I think we'd be wise to try it. So, I'm sure we hope for the best. Oh, we're flashing away. That's a good sign. Okay, before we put the um, heat shrink cover on and get it all nice, what we'll do, we'll connect it to my Bluetooth headphones out. I have previously connected, so I should be good. Are you going to connect? Oh yes. One, two, test it. Oh, I can hear that. We'll test it at the end and I'll show you that. But that's all connected up. Nice one. Okay, what I'm going to do is put a bit of caps on tape. This is good insulating tape. A bit of this in between the um, Bluetooth module and the DC. DC booster. Put a couple of strips on, I just don't want anything sorting out and doing damage. I do go over the top sometimes with this stuff. I'm sorry, I do apologise if my nails are like women's nails because I work with electronics. I always like long nails because it's just easy to pick things up and you know, mini, mini plate parts and stuff, you know, just a lot easier. Okay, we've got some H-ring here, so we'll just cut this to size. Okay, I reckon about there. Okay, let's cut to size. Let's just give us some idea of what it's going to look like. It's going to look like that, isn't it? Cool. Can you see it? Okay, this will just slide in the heat shrink. If you watched a few more transmitter videos over the years, you'll see I use a lot of this stuff. It's great for covering stuff, protecting little circuit boards. What I'm going to do, folks, you see the front here, it's going to have the microphone sticking out, obviously, but I just want to cover this up here with a bit of this. So I'll glue it in, just wrap it around there before I put the um, main cover on. I'll just tidy it up. That's it. Right folks, we're just going to um, eat this up now. Now please be careful. You do this at home. I've done thousands of these, so do not burn your hands, please. Just keep on swapping it round. It will eat up nice and wrap it round nice and tight. Okay, let's do the front bit now. On the back, that looks nice. Like I say, just be very careful, please. It's looking good. Okay, it's looking good. What we'll do now is just carefully cut out the heat shrink for the uh, battery connectors. Be very careful, please. Next one can be a bit trickier. Just go around it. 
go down about a mil and a half or two mil, but just be very careful, please. Lovely jubbly. That's two of them. We'll look at the front of that. It looks nice, doesn't it? Look at that. Very neat. Flat in the back look, not just, you know, you say they're nice and flat. But, great looking module, man. See, the plug in and test it now. It's good. Well done, ready to test. Turn my headphones on. I've got the radio on from Sports Channel. Uh, we don't want no copyrights. Let's put that on. The only thing is you can't see the um, you can't see the flashing light now, can we? But we don't need to if it's all been built properly. I think we are connected. Just put this camcorder down a second. Turn this on. Yeah, we're all connected. Do apologise. Let me turn this up. Strikers move for the most money, and this is the hardest part of the game. There especially in England, the very better. tough to score goals, and we've, we've created some good chances. My house is a bit dark. I didn't put my lights on. So let's go downstairs. I ain't gonna go outside because of British weather pouring down my rain. Ready up? No, I think the microphone's on the front of this camcorder. Can you hear that? Agree with the decision or not? Is it relevant as a player? You have to do what's being asked of you, and if there is going to be Works some fine. success, and I've actually gone about 150 foot with this, and it still connects. So I haven't tested the range yet, but you're talking probably a couple hundred feet. So it's not a bad range actually, for a little cheap transmitter module from Allo Express, all the way from China. The good thing about these, they're digital and they? they're not analogue, so they're a bit more secure, very clear, no interference, and they're good fun, so I do apologise for the big delay in videos, but there it is. Kicked off when it was off. being substituted. I recommend you build it. Nice and easy. Try you can actually hear the feedback. Testing. Testing. Yeah. yeah. One, two. One, two. You always get a slight delay, don't you, with the little. But there it is. Great. Go for it, build it yourself. See you all soon.